Hi, my name is Susanna and I'm here today partnering with The Kitchen is My Playground to share this fun recipe for glazed pigs in a blanket. Growing up, we had pigs in a blanket a lot for dinner or lunch um, or as party food and it was always a treat when you're a kid. That's one of the best meals <laughs> to have. And I love that what they've done with this one is taken our classic pigs in a blanket recipe and made it into a really fun, kind of elevated, more for adults, um, party fair. So this is great for any kind of party you're having, um, any kind of appetizer you need for something. And my first thought when I saw this recipe was this would be great for a game night. I love to host game nights and this would be the perfect little thing to make to snack on during that. So as always, the Kitchen Is My Playground has amazing easy recipes. They taste great. They taste like they've taken a lot more time, but they're very easy to do together. So we're going to start with this one. Um, with our crescent roll, so you're going to just unroll these like that and cut each one down the middle. So from the point here, just cut it all the way down the middle like that. We are using uh, the little smoky sausages, so we don't need that full size uh, crescent triangle. These are all sliced up now. We've got our smaller little triangles here. And you're just going to take your little smoky sausages and start from the wider end of your crescent triangle. You're going to place one of the sausages right there on the end and just wrap it up towards the tip of it, just like that. Very simple. It's a fun little thing to add in, uh, let your kids kind of help cook. I actually have really fun memories. I was thinking of it as I was slicing up the crescent rolls, really fun memories um, of this being one of the first things that I cooked when I was a kid. The first time I was allowed to help make these for dinner, I felt so grown up. I felt like I was accomplishing something huge. So, really fun. Get your kids in on this if you want. And we will just wrap all these up. We've got all of our little pigs in a blanket rolled up here in the pan ready to go. And you do want to make sure before you put these in here that you spray your pan with some cooking spray so that they don't stick while they're cooking. Now that they're ready, we're going to set these aside and head on over to the stove to make the glaze. So over here at the stove, I've melted some butter in a little saucepan, and I'm just going to add a couple of other ingredients for this glaze. So we've got some brown sugar, mustard, just regular yellow mustard. Worcestershire sauce, some onion powder, salt and pepper, and some poppy seeds. I'm just going to stir all of this together. Now we are going to let that come up to a little boil here and once it's boiling we can remove it from the heat and uh, brush it over our rolls before they go in the oven. Our glaze is ready, our pigs in the blanket are ready. This is the last step before we place it in the oven. Just brush the glaze over each of these. Make sure you fully cover each one. You want a nice glaze on all of them. We have brushed glaze on the tops of all of these. We still have quite a lot of glaze left though. And we are just going to pour this right over. Get all the extra flavor. It'll just bake right in this glaze. Don't want to leave any of that out. Perfect. All right, just like that, it's ready to pop into the oven, and we'll take a look at it when it comes back out. All right, they are out of the oven now, all golden brown and delicious. And there you have a platter of these little glazed pigs in the blanket, perfect for the next party or game night or anything you might be hosting where you need a little snack on the side. I hope y'all try this recipe out. Remember to follow the link below and get the full recipe with all the ingredients and extra tips.